My name is Beth Knight. Um, I'm a freelancer. I work for a company called Sustainable Leaders Limited, and I've been working with CISL since the very early days of, it, of its existence. I was a master's student originally, and now I'm uh, a tutor on some of the programs. I'm an online head tutor on the Business Sustainability Management course, and I also support with postgraduate programs. I'm a senior associate at CISL and what that means is I've been involved in uh, teaching and coaching uh, different students through the various programmes and parts of the institute that work around sustainability. A constant thread in my interaction there has been more in the leadership space and education, although I've also worked uh, in supporting on pieces of thought leadership, uh, reviewing and doing offline research for various directors. Within my work, I work a lot with technology sector. I previously worked at Amazon, where I headed up their community investment, uh, some of their disaster relief and humanitarian aid programming. And also I do a lot of work in uh, sustainable finance and what that means around uh, the mechanisms that we have within financial systems to uh, support and enable people to uh, live fulfilling and sustainable lives. One of the things that really concerns me at the moment is um, the increasing numbers of displaced people that we're seeing in the world through uh, climate change but also through uh, war and, and conflict. And with the ri rising amounts of people who are displaced, with that comes uh, multiple uh, sustainable livelihood challenges. Everything from uh, sustainable livelihoods around finance and access to capital through to uh, consumption patterns, how different businesses and industries are engaging with uh, this shift that we're seeing uh, in humanity and the human population. I think CISL have a really critical role to play. Their ability to act as a convener around really critical topics that are uh, perhaps cause-based or needing to have real critical thinking, computational thinking, um, and people within a position of influence in order to create really uh, systemic change, but in a way that is scalable, with a sense of urgency and agency around it, and also in a way that's inclusive in terms of bringing the right people and the right voices to the table, perhaps not always uh, just the incumbent players, but those that all have a, a stake in whatever sustainability challenge it is uh, around which CISL is, is mobilising and having a response on. Right now, and I think increasingly, we're seeing more and more uh, systemic problems that are that are resulting in moments of crisis. And what has been really encouraging me in the wake of things like the Ukraine war, the Turkey-Syria earthquake, is how different actors and stakeholders are putting aside um, ego, vested agenda, etc., cetera, in, in the face of something which needs shared action, shared ownership around a, a common good, where it is really clear and critical to act fast with a sense of agency in a way that creates meaningful and purposeful change in the face of those moments of crisis.